So believe it or not, I haven't really planned this video, but today I'm sorting through all of my kit and pulling out all the things I'm going to be using for my winter camps. And I thought I'd bring you along with me so you can see the kit that I'm going to be using and why I'm going to be using it. So I've got four decent sized boxes up there of kit to go through. Got my tents, we'll talk through those. And then my quilt and sleeping bag. And then these drawers are full of stuff that I'll probably need to have a look through as well and think about what I'm going to need for the winter. So for the tent, what you're going to be looking for is something that's warm, waterproof, quite strong as well, because obviously the winds get up in winter. So the Lanshan one's no good. That's what I've just put down there. I think the Helm one compact is what I'm going to be using, because I've only got those two and the 3FUL Taiji 2 now. And the Taiji 2, I've got the three season inner for it. And the Helm One Compact has got a solid inner. It's a one man tent as well, so it's quite small, which means that it tends to keep a bit warmer. So we'll go for that one. And then for sleeping, I've got my Ice Flame Quilt. Now I've used that down to minus two, and it's been fine. But I've also got a OEX Leviathan EV900, which will take you down to about minus nine. So for really cold nights, that's gonna be the better option, I think. Okay, so let's have a look in each of these boxes now and see what other little bits we're gonna need. So I'll go through these boxes one at a time and just pull out a few things that I'm going to need. My pillow, obviously. It's a four season pillow. Down boots. So one of the things you will need to think about is your sleep mat. Now the cheap non-insulated ones are no good on their own for the winter. So I've got an Exped Simmat 7, which if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll have seen that in action. These are over hundred pounds now. So if you don't want to invest that much in something, you can go for a cheaper mat like this Trail Outdoor Leisure one from Amazon and pair it up with one of these foam foil mats. So you put the foam foil mat down first to shield you from the coal in the ground and then put your mat on top of it. Because I've already got the uh, Exped mat, I'm going to put that with my kit and we'll have a look at the next box. I suppose it would help if I knew what was in these boxes. Waterproofs. So I've got waterproof trousers. Need those. Shouldn't need smidge in a head net in the winter. That's my second inflatable pillow. Got a poncho. I don't need that because I've got a waterproof jacket. That's the dog's sleeping bag. <laughs> Last box. So one thing you will need to think about when you are winter camping is you're going to be spending a lot longer in the dark and then probably in your tent. So you're going to need more than just your head torch, I think. So. For me, I use this Wuben light to light up my tent and then obviously keep my head torch with me as well so that when I leave the tent, I can see where I'm going. But it's nice to have a permanent light inside the tent as a separate thing as well. Another thing to think about is clothing. So I've got my merino layers here, my sexy green trousers and a black merino top. They're both from Mountain Warehouse. I can't remember the exact prices, but it was around 50 pounds for both of those. So they're not cheap, but they do what they're meant to do really. They keep you warm. They're really good as a base layer. So we need those. And you'll also need some sort of hat and gloves. I've got quite a few hats, but honestly, don't spend loads on these. Most of mine are from supermarkets or Primark and places like that. So just a kind of beanie and some gloves. You'll also need to think about your stove and cooking. Because a standard gas stove in really cold temperatures will struggle to either light or stay lit. So I use one of these Fire Maple remote canister stoves. And what these do 
as long as they've got this preheat tube here, is they work in really, really cold temperatures because you can invert your gas canister, turn it upside down, and then the gas actually gets fed through the pipe as liquid and then the preheat tube turns it to gas right next to the stove. So that'll work in really, really cold temperatures and that's the, the stove that I use in the winter. It's also worth grabbing yourself a load of these hand warmer things. Now you can get these in pretty much any bargain shop, pound shop, B&M bargains, home bargains. And they're really useful for keeping in your pockets, um, putting in your socks. You can throw a couple into your sleeping bag before you get in it at night. And they just help to keep you warm and keep the things around you warm. And then you might need to get yourself a bigger rucksack to put all of your winter gear in. Now, fortunately for me, all of my winter gear fits just into my Osprey Kestrel 48 rucksack. It is a bit of a squeeze, but if I fully pack the head section and the bottom section with my sleeping bag and pillow and any other bits I can get in there, that's just big enough for all of my winter kit as well. But if you do need to invest in a bigger rucksack and you don't want to spend loads of money, you could look at something like the Euro Hike Nepal 65. They're available from Go Outdoors and they're just 30 pounds, so not a huge amount by any means. And there's loads and loads of space in them. I've had one before when I did the video about wild camping for less than 150 quid. And one of those should be plenty big enough for all of your winter kit that you need. So as always, drop me a comment below and let me know what I've missed. I'm also interested to know what you guys are going to be using for your winter camps. Any budget gear recommendations, drop those in the comments below as well. And believe it or not, subscribing to the channel is free. So if you're not subscribed already, hit that button below and you'll get alerted every time I upload a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.